Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Use a skill, watch a beat. That's another Piggy D. Doing everybody bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just get the game ain't even started yet, but you already shoot. Got some mad librarian, now watch him throw a book. Wow. Capping like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Ayy, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Do you love the Lord? Well, if you do, man, head on over to UT Knights, man. Use code form to get 5% off all your muck coin needs, bro, and get the God Squad that Jesus wants you to have, man. And, and just keep supporting me by buying coins, boy, before I catch you in a dark alley and beat plasma out your ass. All, 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 all praise due to Jesus, man. Go do what Jesus wants you to do, man. Use code form at checkout and get 5% off all your muck coin needs. God bless. What's happening, Doggy Bone, man? We back on the Madon with another banger for y'all boys, man. Was uh in the midst of my Super Bowl run, man. Uh, at, at the point of this game, I went 8-0. So make sure y'all smash that like button, bro. Let me know how many Super Bowls y'all got. I try to go for at least one to two a day to, to just get my coin stack up. You know what I'm saying? Right here, we come out here, dog, with the QB draw depth. Speaking of QB draws, the update to the uh, empty ebook is done and available. If you have purchased the empty ebook and you want the update, hit me on IG, Twitter, you know what I'm saying, with a screenshot of your previous payment and email address so I can send that off to you ASAP, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate all y'all. Anybody who wants to get the uh, empty ebook in the future, will come with an attached uh updated ebook you know what i'm saying so yeah um he was he was running uh three three cub you know what i'm saying a bit differently uh kind of kind of kind of like i run the wide and easy where he was mugging but with him sitting back i knew he was uh more so going coverage than sending blitzes you know what i'm saying just by how he was running it uh you notice his lines not spread is more of a condensed three three look. Um, so even when he starts doing that, it's a kind of a dead giveaway that the, your opponent probably won't be pre uh, sending much pressure. Right here, we decide to run stretch. You see how far back he is offset. I mean, off of the uh, D lineman because usually if they gonna mug, they're gonna sit here right behind the D tackle, or they're gonna sit in one of these gaps to try to get the A gap free. Or to get somebody looping around. So him playing back here kind of was like, all right, bet. So I don't even have to really block everybody to be fair. I don't have to. Because with him going more so with the coverage approach, we just go hat on the hat and get everybody blocked. You know what I'm saying? When you come mugging, it's usually when you start getting pressure, you increase the sheds and everything like that. And then Cub become a whole headache to play against. Um, y'all let me know what's been y'all the, the the most troublesome defense for me to keep it a bean, bro. Has probably been 3-3 three, three, uh Cub because of the amount of pressure that he gets, bro. For real. That that might be it, man. Uh I got a question for y'all though. What's the glitchiest defense you've run into ever on Madden? I'm going to keep it a bean with you. The glitchiest defenses I had run into Madden 16, Mike 3 scrape, and any any nano that you played against Madden 13. Like Madden 13, it was three-man A gaps, B gaps, uh, unblockables. It was some nasty shit going on in Madden 13. So then was some of the most, them was the nastiest defenses I played against. Oh, my mama and let one of y'all niggas say spinner was the, was the craziest thing you ever played against. Oh, my mama let one of y'all violate and say some type of foolishness. Don't, don't even play like that. So first drive, we ended up having to take three. That's like getting stopped for real. 
taking three on your first drive is a heartbreaker. Because he gets ball at half, so he's already up a possession. He got half a stop, so he up a possession and a half right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn. Then he come out in my shit, so I'm like, gotta be a sub. Gotta be a subscriber. That's what I'm thinking off rip. So I'm like, this gotta be a sub, bro. Then he come out in the chips. I say, this is most definitely a sub, bro. Like, like, no, no coinky dink to it. This is a sub. So I'm like, all right, let's just kind of see what he what he does, if he know how to make reads out of it. He make a good read. So then I pooed it, you know what I'm saying? Because I was immediately in fear of my life type shit. Like, first off, you, you a sub, and you ain't going to give me my Super Bowl for the free ski? Nay, I say. Boy, you going to the devil. And come to find out, he was at his Super Bowl, too. So we was double soup bowling in this boy. Because usually if I'm not if I'm not in my playoffs and I play somebody who's in their Super Bowl, I give niggas they Super Bowls, bro. Like, it is hard enough grinding this motherfucking game without a nigga trying to take your spirit and your soul from you type shit. So I usually give folks they Super Bowl as he tried to uh, dot me up. So I'm like, okay, so if he's going to run my stuff, I'm like, I'm going to be I'm gonna be cool. So then he switches over to tight wide off, which I would assume was his main because out of everybody I've played so far this year, he's had the best tight wide off. He had the, he's had the best route combos, the best reads. You can count it up in this video how many times he actually misses a read. Like, it, like, and, and I'm, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, bring it back, bring it back, because y'all niggas be wilding. I'm not talking about the nigga you would have threw it to. Making a read is getting the ball to an open receiver. If a drag is open and I throw the post and it's a completion, the drag ain't the damn read. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of you, hey, at 842, you had, uh... You had B wide open. You go back and look, B is a motherfucking three-yard hitch, but you threw an 80-yard bomb to a street. You know what I'm saying? So we ain't talking about that, bro. Reed is getting the ball to an open man. That's what making a read is. Also, how y'all how y'all feel about EA like allowing us to buy the comp pass up to a certain level? So the comp pass. That pissed me off right there, bumping. Oh, my God. So the comp pass, you can buy up to level 27. And the season pass, you can buy up to level 41. I think that's bullshit, to be real with you. I, like, that defeats the purpose of the grind. I'm still going to grind. But damn, bro. Like, y'all say 2K did it, so, so we want to get some money, too. Well, I ain't mad, nigga. So, uh, he ends up scoring on his first drive, puts an immense amount of pressure on me to go down here and get seven. I went, you want to know something crazy, chat? I went to my first, uh, foosball game. A uh, couple of the students that I coach as we throw the corner route right here, they play, uh, high school football. So I went to go, uh, I went to their game. I, I, how long did I coach them for eight years? Eight of the ten years I was coaching. So, um, yeah, bro, got to go watch them play, man. They was going Zerp, my boy Booms and Pep. You know what I'm saying? They were going crazy. They ended up winning 56 to nothing. And I was just thinking, like, damn, I'd have started a fight in that bit. You feel me? Like, think, think, think about that, bro. You you lose fifty six to zero, y'all ain't got no points. Like I'm like I'm happy because my boys did their thing and blue dude and a blue dude uh squad out. But if I'm the other team, I'm like yo, we gotta start some type of riot, boy. So the so so we can win the fight or something. We can't lose the game and not win the fight. You know what I'm saying? That but I guess they just took the ass whooping type shit. But you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So I end up going down here scoring uh, relatively easy because I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't have red zone offense this year. You know what I'm saying? Scoring in that red zone, tough as hell, bro. 
And I know because I stop a lot of people in the red zone. Pardon me for yawning. It's hella late. Um, I'm trying to get this gameplay done because when I wake up tomorrow, I will be chilling. And then I'm going to take my daughter. We having our daddy-daughter date. You know what I'm saying? We going to the movies. We going to watch Denzelian equalize on niggas. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Go crazy on that. And then when I get home, uh, Bobby going to be using my account for the MCS. So I'm probably just going to stream his uh, ladder games and we're going to watch them kick it chill. You know how we do. And then I'm going to have to get back on, get some content. And then I'm off the game because my daughter were to watch. Excuse me. Instead of going out to dinner for our, uh, the second part of our daddy-daughter date, she want to stay at home and watch Candyman and, and, or, and, and, and just chill. So right here, look. Look at this shit, bro. My third is going to commit here. Then he's going to roll over here. The the one thing about tight is the seams be cooking shit, bro. Like, tight wide off more than any other formation. Those seam throws be money. You can make it from each position, especially that tight end side. Those seam throws be OD, which I think is why... Tight, why off? Outside of uh, tight halfback slot week is probably the defense that gives me the most issues. You know what I'm saying? Right there, he gets a crazy little disengaged loop joint. Kind of put me in a bind because I need to get at least three here. Because what getting three here does is put me in a position, even if he scores coming out the half, it's still a one-possession game. So it's a must that I get three here. And I damn near almost got alert. So that's kind of how I'm playing the drive. Uh, a must-score drive for me. Um, trying to catch him slipping on that one-on-one -on -one side with Freaky Reeky, but he just playing it hella smart. So I know he's a three, uh, a send three play coverage type of guy. Even if he sends five, I don't have to block Waller, so I can put Waller out in coverage. That puts a bit more pressure on his defense as we hit him with that cross or post route. Again, putting us in a uh, uh, good range to score a tug. We go hurry up, take the 13-second runoff, and then I'm just going to hit him with this corner route because I don't know what he was doing with Reed, but he just got caught coming downhill. And then once you commit down, you're not getting back. You know what I'm saying? So we hit him with the corner route, score 14 seconds left, three timeouts. More than enough time for him to make something happen, but it's imperative that I hold dog to no points. That way, coming back in the second half, it becomes the back and forth game. Whoever has the ball last is usually the usually, damn, the one who will come out victorious. But if you just see from the first half, I haven't forced him into any bad read yet. I haven't been able to uh, sniff an interception or a stop. So I needed that stop right there at the end of the half. Because all all things point to you not finna stop this nigga. Like when he was in the empty and the chips, I, I'm like, all right, I'll eventually bait some string. I mean, and uh, get him to go ahead and throw something my way because it's my def, it's my O. I kind of know how people think. So right here, he hits the check down. Whenever the check down was open, he immediately took that. So I'm playing the uh. The mid-read game, because I know the mid-read will match the crosser, make it a lot easier for me to play defense. I'm going to make a, a change to my defensive strategy as the game goes on. You know what I'm saying? Right here. Um, so the reason I'm not going in the gaps here now is because the seams kill me, bro. So I, I, I don't want to be in the gaps, and then I can still man him up, and he'll play a seam streak. Or I could go mid-read and it'll detest, uh, deter him from throwing the seam streak. If he's in the gap, by the time he drop back, they're usually, in a, uh, especially the tight end who gets a free release, they're usually in this secondary and they can just kill me in the seams. And I hate that shit. It's the, it's the only issue I, it's the only one of the only issues I run into running tight wide off. And right there, we got him to throw the book, bro. That's the first book of the game. The mid-read did exactly what I needed it to. It matched the crosser. I clicked on. Hell, why? Got no animation. I think that's a huge thing with a lot of people in the community 
is like we shouldn't need pick artists for our guys to make like very basic and simplistic plays. We shouldn't need it for that, bro. They should make the play because we put the adjustment out there for them to do so. And whenever you see a nigga do, double juking real crazy like that, nigga a dark entity. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who double juking, going zerk like that, dark entity. You know what I'm saying? Soulless individual. So, now, uh, I've given up all hope of getting a stop. Yeah, just wanted to let y'all know. That for me, that's gone. And then right there, I play good defense, good user. Nigga, take off with Warren. I only rush three. And then he going to hit me with my own red zone shit. He going to go, uh, I form close. And he going to score. The Moist Man is a crazy-ass name, though. <laughs> for your team, is crazy. That shit, wow, bro. The Moist Man? Y'all out here hoochie daddies? Crazy. So now it's just, a, it's on me now. Go down here, get some of them things, and then play a couple of pieces of defense again. The game, far from over. We still got wild possessions. Now, ideally, I would like to score this uh, towards the end of the third and then give him the ball. Because you can't, you're not going to be able to kill five minutes a clock. You know what I'm saying? Then that way it would ensure that I get the ball last. That's ideally what I want to do. But at the same token, he's giving me yards and chunks. Just like he ain't forced, I ain't forced a bad read on him. Why well, I forced one. He hasn't forced one on me. Yes, well, I threw a, uh, almost got baited on the 50-50. So, yeah, you can call that. Like, bad, bad reads have been to a minimum. Offenses have been, you know what I'm saying, fuego in them up. We both going up and down the field. We both making a lot of adjustments defensively. But the counterpart is, is just figuring out where the holes in the defense are. Because regardless, it don't matter who you playing. There's holes in everybody's defense. It's just a matter of are you putting out the proper route combos to find them? Are you switching up your route combos enough to see Right there, boom, he bailed off the corner route, so we end up hitting it late, picking up a huge gain. Uh, right here with the, with the quarter winding down, we just don't block, bro. That shit made me mad. So we ended up killing the rest of the third with no chew clock, and this was the point where I was like, yo, I really wanted to score, but had already scored by this point. That way, you know what I'm saying, I, it was no chance that he would kill that clock as I miss X because I was looking at the drag. So we have it to a third and goal um, because, you, as you can see, the more time I give him, like once the game is under four minutes in the fourth, you could, you, you could plausibly kill all that clock, you know what I'm saying? Especially with him being down three, he would just need to get in field goal range. So that's why I was on that type of time, like scoring beforehand, giving the whole five minutes because it's a lot tougher to kill clock like that and play the score. But right there, we end up scrambling into the end zone. Big boy touchdown. And now, you know what I'm saying, up three, four and a half left. That's a tough clock to kill. I'm not going to onside him. We just going to play it up. We going to play this shit by ear, boy, and see what popping. See what happened then. So I need to make a change to my defense, and you'll see why coming up shortly as he gets a random overthrow. He started mixing up something crazy with the route combo. He started cooking up wild on me, man. And what he started to do is um, whatever, for, whatever play it is, it has an angle route. And he starts going with the double crosser with the angle route coming in on the backside after my user is already pulled away. Like, I have to check here, right? So I have to check here so he don't kill me in the seam street. Uh, then I have to move with this crosser. I have to find whichever one is the deeper crosser and user that one because the shorter one uh, we're able to take care of. But with him coming on his backside, angle route i've already committed here even if i came downhill i would come downhill at an angle 
and he still will be able to throw it in that gap right there. And my cloud flat was not playing it how I wanted to. So I was in a nasty ass conundrum right there, bro. And, and, and I'm like, you know what? This is me like on my stubborn shit. Like he's going to play that eventually how he's supposed to. I know he will. He got that. He got big lurker on him. You know what I'm saying? So right there, we kind of, uh, we defended correctly. We run with the correct crosser. We bagged the play up. So I'm like, all right, bet. We back to picking up on tendencies and doing a really good job of adjusting as we go. You know what I'm saying? So right here, I'm like, I'm going to go with the same exact defense because it just got me a stop. Well, not a stop, but, you know what I'm saying, a decent, decent joint. And then right there again, he goes right back to the angle route. And then right there again, we don't do shit. Now, now to keep it a buck, a scene flat probably would have did more justice seeing that how he's clearing out. Like, uh, if we just go back. Like, if you just look at how he's clearing out, the scene flat would not have had any flat zone responsibilities. So a scene flat would start to make its way upfield here. And then when he grows to throw this, Instead of being out towards the sidelines, because this year clouds play more to the sidelines better than any zone this year, a seam flat would be more inside and it would take away that lane of throw. But I'm in a hell game and I ain't really been on seam flats heavy this year, so I wasn't thinking with the full capacity of my mental mind type shit. You feel me? So yeah, we I'm I'm not even thinking about a seam flat. I'm I'm just be at this point I'm hella stubborn. And right here is where I make the adjustment. I'm like, yo, I'ma put I'ma put a vert hook there, seam flat, I mean cloud flat, and then I'll use her the mid read. I'll use her the mid read to take away whichever crosser. And what that does is instead of bringing him out here in the gap and filling here and then mid mid. Now I have the zone here to take away the, um, damn, what zone was this? The angle route. Now I could have very well just angle routed him and brought him over to the user, but I did what I didn't want is to start getting cooked with short outs and things of that nature. Like I'm always thinking ahead on what my opponent may do. So all I kept thinking about is if he started cooking me with out routes, I'm going to be pissed because it opens up a whole different bag. You know what I'm saying? So I want to just bag up what he's doing without opening up a bag of uh, ass whooping on the back end. Because the moment he notices his vert hooks with no flats, that's going to be his immediate go-to. And then my next go-to chess move for that. I would, as he threw a, another book and I just didn't get it. My counter for that would be flatten out my corner. Now I open myself up to the streak, corner route combos, and it's just a whole different bag that I just didn't want to have to delve into this late in the game because that's that's a that's a that's a tall assignment to have just one or two minutes to 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 bag up all of that so i just took a a, a a different route different approach to things and right here we get him to a fourth down and i feel like i'm like all right that shit worked i got him to throw a book i didn't pick it but i got him to throw it so right here fourth down good defense and if you notice i bump into the defender and get, and and that's what allows that crosser to get get there my uh i had hard flats when I maybe I should have went cloud, who knows? But that was all my goddamn fault, bro. And I was so hurt because I didn't want to lose my soup bowl like that. So right here, winning, 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 need, boy. QB Dreezy picking up big, big forty yard game, man. So now we already cooking. We got the clock going. I, I don't have on two clock. But we do have, I don't think I have on two clock. But yeah, we got the, uh, we had the clock moving. We are in field goal range, we, even though I need seven. So I just want to pick up yardage, yardage, not in bunches. Progressively, slightly moving my way up the field. 
because I want to take the clock with you. Then this is four down territory. I need to score. So then if I score, we give him the ball back with limited time, try to get us a stand. Now, if he gives up a touchdown, I have to take it. And then right here, this is just me being stupid. Excuse me. Rolling out the pocket when I don't need to. That was one thing I did a decent job of, just not prematurely rolling out the paquito. So right here, we get him to a third and eight. Well, we really need to cook up something, man. Uh, drop back. I could have. Oh, shit. This is my fault, bro. And this is probably one of one of the weaknesses that I do have this year. I go through my progressions, right? So I'm like, yo, I'm thinking he's manning up here. I'm sometimes this year I make premeditated reads. So the moment I see him coming down here, I'm like, he manned up. I get off that read. And then as they're developing, he's underneath here. His users coming down hill. He's breaking away, but he's not going to create that much separation towards the sideline. So I lock in on why. What I should have done, I had both seams that I could have free form to the inside, especially here. But because I had already X that read out, I never went back to it. He's open, but I get a under pressure. So that's my fault, bro. That's my fault. Dumb me. You know what I'm saying? I just got to stop making those, uh, having those preconceived notions about what's going to be open as soon as I see the defense off the snap. So right here, just got to come up with something. Spread look is giving me a worry vibe that he was going to blitz, but he still never came down to hover. So I didn't have, I'm like, I don't think dog blitz in there right here. I'm, I'm hoping he gives me this same area. I'm hoping he didn't see it. And that's partly why I have this short this short route coming across the middle with the uh, hook curl on a fourth and eight because I know with this hook curl sitting in the middle of your defense, your user's going there. Your user's checking and then going here. And that's exactly what he did. He left the top open and we end up hitting it for a touchdown, bro. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to put some zones on the, I mean, some route combos on the field that would keep his user down long enough for me to go over top. And if he never went over top, I would just check down to the curl route and pick up the first down. So, <clears throat> score way earlier than I wanted to. Way, way earlier. But you got to take your tugs when you can get them, my boy. So, right here, he comes out in nine tight wide off. And I'm like, okay. This would be great for me. This is going to be a, a couple of pieces of real good defense. Throws the drag route. My fault. He damn near in field goal range. Goes back to tight wide off, and I'm like, all right, bet. I've been waiting for him to go back in the tight wide off, but the latency issue is not allowing me to blitz. I mean, re blitz my linebacker. We play good defense, get him to roll out. But that latency shit, I could not blitz all my backers and then go back in coverage. Right here he goes, bunch wide flex. I pretty much know what people want in bunch wide flex. Uh, those crossers coming across the middle is the primary read. It's so close close to the sideline, I wasn't really tripping off of uh, a corner route and he got hit with the intentional grounding. So you're on this hash. If he was on this hash and then had his, uh, my bad, and then he had his guys here on the verge, it would be a little bit more room to work towards the sideline, and I would have to respect it more. But with them boys so close to the sideline, I wouldn't worry about no corner route. And right there, we get pressure. He throws it away. He takes the intentional ground. I probably didn't even explain that last situation correctly. Boy, I'm sleepy as hell. But right here, this is the tight wide off defense, sending three. If he want to scramble, he can. He throws the corner route, and we dropped it. We dropped That's pick artist, too. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Big drops. So right here again, you already know. Just If you just look at the damn defense, bro, I don't pull it up again. But if you just look at the defense, bro, for this, 
You already know where I'm defending. All oh, is me. All oh, is me. I'm I'm shading over top. Um, I've changed these deep blues to kind of play the corner out a bit better. And then it's just on me to lurk the middle of the field. If I lurk the middle of the field correctly, I, I'll be good money. And we do exactly that. Pick that off and put the game away, man. He ended up hitting me on uh, IG uh, to say uh, GG's. Real cool dude. Been supporting for a hot minute. They got a fire-ass podcast called uh, The Men's Room. I want to make sure that I get that shit correctly. But, yeah, they got a fire-ass pod that I be rocking out with. Uh, they're a lot bigger on Tiki Top. But, yeah, they got a fire-ass podcast called The Men's Room. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all make sure y'all boys check them guys out, man. Uh, but, yeah, appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay, man. I'm finna go get some shut-eye.